Tony Pan with Behind the Handlebars Heaping Abraham videos. I'm here with Jim Francis, pretty well known tattoo artist. Uh, for those that don't know, you were on the, uh, is that the Discovery Channel? It's on Spike TV. Spike, Spike TV, TV, the uh, Ink Masters. Yes. Yep, so um, tell us a little bit about your, your history with tattooing, when, when you got started. I know you came from the West Coast. Uh, I came from the West Coast, kind of a, was a street kid, did a lot of bad things, uh, got sobered up and eventually made my way into a tattoo shop about 15 years ago where they actually apprenticed me and started learning from there and about nine years ago we moved to Milwaukee. I've been familiar with your work. I've got, I've worn several of your pieces. I got another one on schedule to be yeah. done soon. So um, what have you seen uh, changing in the in the uh, tattoo world? I think that Ink Masters might have been a, a good thing. Uh, some of the programs that have been highlighting tattooing, it's not longer a, a forbidden kind of a art it's way more acceptable, especially with the internet. The internet has really progressed the, uh, the industry. What is happening is people are no longer relying what's on the walls and actually printing things out and coming up with their own ideas and then relying on us to make that artwork happen so that they can get tattooed with what they want. Yeah, and, and, and tattoos, a lot of people get them out of, uh, sometimes on a, on a, they get a little kick and they just want to go out and quick get one, but tattoos are real personal. They should be a personal statement uh, and, uh, People should have a lot of thought process. I know you work with your clients in d developing a design if they don't have one. Yeah, a, a lot of it is one-on-one um, -on -one where you're talking to people and trying to get a feel for what they want and then coming up with the idea that they have in their head. So pulling it out of somebody's head is kind of kind of hard. Uh, but the main thing now is like you get to my point how I am and now I'm just a collector. So people that just first start getting a couple tattoos usually mean something then after a while they just become collectors. So they go and travel around and pick up from different artists that have different styles so that way you're more rounded and not just having the same thing all over your body. Right, and there are so many different styles. There's traditional, there's the cartoon, there's the sailor style, there's right. the uh, uh, tribal. Gray, yeah, realistic black and gray, realistic color. Uh, new school, it, it shoots all over the gamut now. It's not just traditional tattoos or gangster-looking tattoos anymore. Right, and I, I, I got my first tattoo in Milwaukee uh, way back in, I'm trying to guess now, 1964, I think? 63 or 64. It was an Armand Dietzel. Uh -huh. who was a master. He's no longer with us, but he was an ink master. It was down on 3rd and Wells. Yeah. And shortly after I got that tattoo, they, they uh, closed all the tattoo parlors down in Milwaukee with a supposed health scare, but it wasn't, there was no health scare. But uh, I think what's really good now is that um, the revitalization of tattooing and the fact that it's now legal again and there's a lot of good tattoo artists in the, in the area. It got rid of a lot of what they used to call scratchers, the yes. guys that would be doing it in their homes and their backyards. There's still plenty of those out they're, there. They're, they're out I there. Get, I get to fix a lot of them. Yeah, yeah and, and if that's all you're doing is fixing a scratcher's work, you're good. And most of the times those people are <laughs> you're in danger of uh, disease, uh, yeah, infections, like all that, kinds of yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. so. So I'm glad the, the, the art is, is where it is now today. I mean, they got better inks now, yes. better guns. The machines are a lot better. The inks are a lot better. The health department's more involved. So they have to come in once a year, check everything out, make sure our sterilizers are on point, make sure that we have the right kind of wipes and maticide and alcohol and everything is set up and sterile. Because if it's not, then they'll just shut you down. Well, do you want to tell people where your, where your shop's going to be? Shop? I'm actually moving over to... Vantage Point Tattoo over off the of 54th and Vleet, just on the border of Milwaukee and Tosa. Uh, you can also find me on my website at jimfrancistattoo.com. So if you're in the Milwaukee area or if you live in this area, come on down and see Jim. You can get inked by one of the ink masters. Tony Pan, Behind the Handlebars with Hupie and Abraham. <laughs>